Dear students, now we are going to discuss ray optics and types of rays in detail. Ray optics is based on the direction of light wave propagation along the fiber. Here the exact path of the ray can be determined by using the position and an angle of the ray at which it strikes on the fiber core. So here the ray optics is based on the direction of the light ray. So based on the path there are two types one is meridional rays one is skew rays okay. So the first one meridional rays this meridional rays enter into the fiber through its axis that is core axis and cross the fiber axis at each reflection. So it is confined into a single plane single plane means the plane which contains the fiber axis. So here it is easy to track the path of this meridional rays. So it can be widely used ok. So here meridional rays enter into the fiber through its axis and cross the fiber axis at each reflection. Here these rays are confined to a single plane that means the plane which contains the core axis. It is easy to track the path as it travels along the fiber. Do you all understand this one? Next meridional rays can be classified into two types bound rays and bound rays. The bound rays propagate along the fiber axis within the core but unbound rays are refracted out of the fiber core. Okay. So the next one is skew rays. Skew rays are not transmitted through the fiber axis and do not cross the axis at each reflection. Okay. It is just opposite to the meridional rays. Here is not transmitted through this fiber axis and do not cross the axis at each reflection. Here the skew rays follow the chemical path along the fiber. Okay. So these rays are difficult to track the path since they do not lie on a single plane. Okay. So here the chemical path changes in a direction of to gamma value here gamma is nothing but this is one gamma this is an another gamma value okay so here the acceptance angle for skew rays is given as theta a is equal to sine inverse of numerical aperture by cos gamma okay finally the overview of the types of rays meridional rays and skew rays Meridional rays are further classified into bound rays and bound rays. Here we can simply compare this meridional rays and skew rays. Meridional rays are confined to a single plane which contains the core axis. Skew rays do not confine to a single plane. So here meridional rays propagate along the fiber axis but here these rays follow the chemical path around the core axis not along the fiber axis ok. So it crosses the axis at each reflection. The skew ray does not cross the core axis. Easy to track the path. It is difficult to track the path. So here this is the front view of this fiber axis. Here this wave is propagating in a single plane. Here it follows a helical path. Okay.